Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, the internet's driving me insane. I'm still without internet access. I'm sorry. If I haven't responded to you on email or your personal messages right here on YouTube, it's simply because I've been out. The internet has been out since Saturday night at 7 p.m. because of that terrible storm. So I've recorded this morning and I've walked a half a mile to Applebee's just to upload. But that's not going to stop us. That's not going to stop us. I double dog dare the devil to try to deal with the word of God this morning. Are you serious? There is a tattoo. Several of you. Stephen of Oklahoma. Philip of Alabama. Karen out there in Maryland. Shauna in Virginia. S Stuart in Scotland. Stephen in Idaho. I don't even know how many people. Tons of you have responded about the tattoo technology that now they can apply on the skin that will actually make video games work, be, work as a, CP, uh, 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 a GPS system, can record information. Now, we already know there's a microchip. There's already been a microchip out. It's been out for six months now, at least, that can control, can have all your health, in, all your health records your banking information. It operates as a debit card. It, it has all of your, it, it's a GPS. It has your birth, birth certificate, your social security number, your credit report. I mean, you name it, it's a, your identification on your job. All of this is already out there, folks. We're living in a time when the mark of the beast could be implemented simply when the Antichrist rises when he reveals himself as it says in Thessalonians the technology is here we're on the brink of the beast we're on the verge of the absolute apocalyptic times where I'm not sure folks are even aware of how close we are to the rise of the Antichrist the false prophet the tribulation period we got the comet element racing toward us right now that's gonna get between the Sun and the earth during the feast of the trumpets some people think that could be the time of of great change of the age then it's going to whiz by the earth within 2100 21 million miles of the earth during october 16th during the heart right in the middle of the feast of the tabernacles let me read to you the bible right now this is revelation 13 i've read it before you've heard it before let's read it in Revelation 13, 13, the Bible says, And he doth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, and saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand and in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and 6 or 666. Six, six. We're on the brink of the beast. We're on the verge of an apop apocalyptic move. We're on the absolute cusp of something biblically is going on with the signs of the second coming of the Lord. Do you need a quick rundown? On New Year's Eve, 12 minutes to midnight, 5,000 blackbirds fell dead right out of the sky for no reason in the heart of B.B. Arkansas in a one-mile radius. 
Oh no, the next day, a hundred thousand drumfish washed up on the banks of the Arkansas River right there, dead. And then a couple days later, two million fish washed up on the shores of the Chesapeake Bay. Then 3,000 blackbirds fell dead in, in, in East Texas. 2,000 fell dead in Louisiana. Several hundred in Kentucky. Several hundred in California. Several thousand in Ireland. Several thousand in Sweden. Several thousand in Australia. Several thousand in New Zealand. Several thousand in Brazil. Meanwhile, fish were washing up on the banks of Brazil near Rio de Janeiro there, and uh, over there near Venezuela there was more and there was more in New Zealand there was more there was a hundred whales washed up on the banks of New Zealand six hours before the big earthquake hit in Christchurch New Zealand killing 146 people seven million dead fish washed up on the banks of Redondo Beach California meanwhile 7,000 buffalo started falling over dead in Vietnam 222 cows pitched over dead in Stockton Wisconsin for no reason they found one moldy sweet potato and even some people wrote articles about me Time Magazine put me in their, in their article that there's a preacher who's brought forth the Hosea prophecy you can find it in Hosea Hosea chapter 4 verses 1, 2, and 3. And Yahoo News put it on the news. CNN put it on their website as news. It went worldwide. People began to look and see, is there biblical signs? I'm here to tell you. We've had the river turn red in Texas, the, the, the lake in Texas. We've had rivers turn red in Minnesota. The fifth largest earthquake in history hit Japan. It was gigantic as it rattled the teeth of Tokyo for six solid minutes. And then here came a tsunami 30 foot high that came ashore six miles, killing 28,000 people right there in Japan. Oh, I'm praying for the people of Japan. Oh, and then six nuclear reactors in the Fukushima nuclear power plant begin to melt down as the radiation is in the soil and in the water and in the air and in the food. Oh, we're under apocalyptic times. There's something biblically going on, folks. 7,000 eagles, 7,000 eagles gathered in the landfills outside of Vancouver, Canada in Comox Valley and begin to eat the dead carcasses of, of rats and scraps and poisonous things, fulfilling the scriptures in Matthew 24. 22 when the earth was knocked off its axis on the great earthquake that hit Japan and moved the island of Japan back eight feet and actually made the day shorter by 1.6666 milliseconds fulfilling the scriptures in Matthew 24 28 for even the days shall be shortened I'm here to tell you for the elect's sake we're living in the days of the apocalypse we're living in the days of the second coming of the Lord we're living in the time of the rise of the beast we're living in the time of the brink of the beast of the absolute in the persecution upon the church Folks, there's tattoos now available. When are they going to implement it? Who's going to rise? Who is the Antichrist? When will it happen? I want you to turn to Jesus Christ. If you're not saved right now, I want you to send me a personal message right here on YouTube. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Folks, if I'm not just saying this for my health, I'm saying this for your soul. We're talking about your eternal soul. Come to Jesus right now. Do it right now. In Jesus, Jesus' name.